All right, so we're back with another video. Um, we did something like this two years ago, maybe? Three. Three? Has it been that long? I think so. We had uh, more people asking and requesting for this video, and then also a lot of girls were asking about my pieces and where I get them um, on Instagram. So I figured I'd add a couple of my favorites in here, where I get them, how I even prep for a photo shoot, and some tips. Because how long have we been doing photo shoots for, baby? Before my fitness. So probably like 15 before years? I started, yep. Before I even started working out, which was about 13 years ago. I always say 10 years. I've mm -hmm. been stuck with 10 years for like the last three years. Mm -hmm. It's been 13 years that I started to work out. And I think photo shoots were the reason why I started to work out. Because I didn't like what I saw. I'm like, that's what I look like? It's oh. funny because you see yourself differently. Or you think you look differently. And then when you actually see it, you're like, didn't think I looked like that. And my fitness journey began. Well, we first started doing photography for other people. Yeah. Right? So he used me as his subject to practice on and then to promote his services, his photography services. And then you became a makeup artist. I was a makeup artist. So then I would have him shoot for me some artistic stuff. Um, and then it just kind of continued on. Right? And we haven't stopped. We haven't stopped since. So I think I have a couple tips I could share with you guys. Um, first, starting with prep, body prep. We'll do that. So if I know I'm going to do a photo shoot, what I do first is I exfoliate. Um, and of course, I use my brand because it's all natural and it works amazing. I have a salt scrub and a sugar scrub. I prefer the sugar scrub. If you like a really, really harsh scrub, you'll like the salt scrub. I like the salt. Yeah. Um, salt is not fun because we shave. <laughs> and then it starts to hurt. So if you plan on shaving, stick with the sugar scrubs, which is the one I mostly make. And the reason I love this is you, you definitely need to scrub. Your, your skin shows a lot in uh, photos. And it's very difficult to clear up skin that's just a little bit over the top and you know you've got blotchy and then the light being a little bit off can really ruin your photos okay. so you want to exfoliate and we suck at promoting our own products so, so it's right now I'm gonna add a couple in here <laughs> um, what I love about so mine basic, specifically right? what I love about mine specifically is um, I will lather it everywhere and until I don't feel the sugar in it anymore I won't stop and once it's all dissolved I'm left with a really nice foamy because it's a foaming scrub a uh, nice <clears throat> foamy layer and you could shave and you get such a close shave and it's beautiful so obviously I exfoliate I shave and then a little bit of color because it does help with photos I use a tanologist express tan this is extra dark and the only place I've been able to find it is Alta I can't I mean I can I guess link it for you if I remember uh, they used to have it on Amazon and then I couldn't find it anymore and Alta has been the only place that carries it the reason I like this ladies is it's a one hour express you only have to wear it for an hour to three hours then you can wash it off and you're done with it you're done with the stickiness, you're done with the smell, just wash it off. And, and you only off. use it for winter. And I only use it for winter. After that, I do tan outside. Um, so, I do that. Another thing, body butters. I make body butters too. These, before a photo shoot, your skin will be glowing. And what's nice about glowy, kind of, you're adding an oil base to your skin and what it does is light will reflect on your skin and it makes your imperfections look a little less imperfect <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is why I like it I will always moisturize because if you do not moisturize it will show in your photos you won't like it you'll have dull skin you want glowy moist supple skin but that's how you want your skin to look for photos because it goes a long way if it's dull and dry you will look ashy, you will look ghostly, you, you won't like how it turns out. So skin prepping is super important. If I haven't done that, don't. I'm not shooting, period. My husband knows it. Like, yep. I have to do all that first. Um, after, but the good thing about you doing all that is you have like three days of shooting. Yeah, because cause, I mean, as long as your hair doesn't grow back. Here's the thing, it's important to shave because it will show up in camera and you will not like it and you'll ruin an entire photo shoot. Um, and I have about three days before my prickly <laughs> starts to show again. Um, so that's my skin prep. Now, 
What's super important is the mental prep. I cannot stress this enough. I've done so many photo shoots in the worst circumstances, uh, either depression, not feeling it, Stress. overly stressed, bloated, um, just we've, we've even done photo shoots during arguments because we were both running a business and it could be very stressful and then if I see a vision that he doesn't see or he sees a vision that I don't see and then we start to get into an argument and then I know we still need to finish this photo shoot and a lot of it is acting, you have to put on a smile and just go through it but I will tell you that no matter what I have always been able to see it in photos. If I wasn't having a good time, if I wasn't enjoying myself, if I didn't feel confident, you can see it in the photos. So, bring your best self forward. And pick it's your photographers biggest. right. Pick them. <laughs> yeah, you need to be able to be a goofball and mess up around them and try new things and not feel judged. Like, I can do a pose and it could totally look like shit and he's not gonna judge me, and that's nice. You know, I have, I'm a little lucky because it's my own husband, you know, so I have that where I'm like, you know, I don't I, I don't know if this is gonna turn out right, but let's just do it, who cares, you know? And my, he'll be honest, he'll be like, it ain't working, let's move on, my best, I like that. My best thing is uh, I'm not charging you. <laughs> so we can try whatever you want. <laughs> so we can try whatever we want. Um, so mentality is huge. You gotta bring it. You gotta want it. You gotta feel sexy. You gotta feel good, confident. And if it's just not happening, then I would just put an end to it because you're not. You're gonna waste time. We are not gonna like the end. Yeah, we have stopped some of them. We're like, We're like that's no, it. it's not working. That's it. Um, and it's fine. So that's number two. Number three, which is a weird one, I know it's personal preference, but um, my own trial and error, when you shoot, natural makeup is better. Uh, try to keep it, less is more. So I have, oh, I have fallen into the dramatic lashes, let's try it, and then I'll do it, and then the whole photo shoot, I look wonky eyed and weird. Um, don't go heavy lashes, don't go over extreme, where you can't even make out the person's face because all you see is lashes. Try to keep it simple, clean. Um, so like right now, you have some. I do. You can barely tell. They're half lashes because they're half lashes. I don't do full strip lashes. Um, they, I feel like my eyes are small, and if I do a full strip lash and something is off, that's it. You look like I'm sexy. <laughs> well, your eye looks like it's twitching, and you're like, yeah, no, let's never do that again. So, lashes. Choose them wisely. Don't go over the top unless you know you. You yourself really love it. Like I, again, this is preference, but stuff that I have recognized. Um, if you go hardcore contour on your face, you will look dirty. Your face will look dirty in photos. Uh, so lighter is better. Define your lips, definitely. That you can play with. You can go bold. I've never had an issue with that. The only time I've messed up is when I didn't do anything on my lips, and that looks really bad. Um, maybe because I have small lips, it just you completely are blurred <laughs> in the lip area. Um, so makeup, I try to keep it kind of more natural. Um, hair, fluff it as much as you can. It always looks better in photos if your hair is nice and fluffed. You wash it the um, day before. I wash it the day before to make sure it's nice and voluminous, but that works for me. Everyone's different. I'm just saying try to stay away from styles that are a little too slick. It might shape your head weird in, in like different angles. So a little bit of fluff is nice. Now, uh, clothing, what you wear. Let's get into that. Okay, so let's do outfits and some of my favorite ones. I'm going to feature my favorite ones, but before that, let's do the new one. Okay, so this one is super exciting. I don't have photos yet, but I will. Um, it's a really nice, just black piece, but I love all the strappies. This one specifically has lots of straps. So this is the top, and then you have a strap on the bottom, and then lots and lots of straps. I personally love the straps. Every time I shoot in straps, it comes out really nice because there's so much you can do with the straps that make it fun. Uh, let's move down to the floor. This one, a lot of people have asked about. I'll post a couple photos too in the video so that you can know what it looks like. It's kind of hard to uh, show it all. Sure. So many pieces, but I love these little garter style things. This also, very strappy, I'm, I'm into the straps. Um, but this one I think I have in two other colors, that's how much I love it. It hugs your body beautifully. Amazon. I get a lot of mine from Amazon. I used to be lucky and get find things at Ross and TJ Maxx, not, not so much anymore. Not like sexy lingerie, it's very um, 
gowns. <laughs> That's what you find now. So it's not as Or what you have on. Yeah, or things like this, which I do love, but not for a photo shoot. Um, another piece, um, again, another photo to show you guys. Um, super sexy. I love the color. I love the straps. It's very sheer, so there is some see-through uh, throughout this entire piece. Um, the garter, it, it's really nice because you put the garter on and then it has these little straps. So you don't need nylons with them unless you really want it, but I mean, I think it would clash. These go around your thighs. I like the thigh stuff because I like my thighs. I've worked very hard to gain mass in that area and I like to show it off. Um, also bought it in, I think, burgundy and a very pale pink because I loved it so much. Recently, we posted a photo in these. It was a back shot and everybody really loved it. I cannot find the top. <laughs> I was looking for the top, but it's okay. You'll see it in the photos that we're going to put in the video. Super cute. Also, Amazon. And a thing I search for on Amazon is to see if they're adjustable. This is extremely important because we all come in different shapes and sizes, ladies. And you want to be able to either tighten this or loosen it to your liking. Um, and especially if some days you're a little bloated, which yes, I still shoot if I'm bloated. You still look good. And the touch looks great. Well, you, you, <laughs> um, so I like I to find be the able, angles. <laughs> I like to be able to loosen it a little if I'm feeling a little chunkier that day, um, and it's okay. So a lot of these, almost all of them, have adjustable straps like crazy. I always look for that detail because I want to be able to play around with the straps. Um, this was a fun one. I did it for New Year's. It has like these little metal things, whatever you want to call them. The garter is made from it too, and then I, I still have it on. I guess because I didn't want to lose it. This, these pantyhose look amazing with this. I cannot link this. I think this was from like 15 years ago. I kid you not. When we were doing pinup, yeah, pinup style. Um, and then I, after we did the shoot, I tried to go on Amazon to find similar things because I thought it turned out really beautiful. Uh, I couldn't find them. They're like all like boring colors or like really bright, vibrant colors that I also don't like. This was a super cute one. Also Amazon. Um, some of my favorite pieces are florals. If you haven't noticed, I love florals. I'm really into that. Um, this is also like mesh see-through, but it, the flower placement hides your nipple. <laughs> and then, of course, another one also. Oh, Amazon, right? I'm trying to remember if they're anywhere else, but no, no. That's where I get it from. This one is super, super, super sheer. So if you're into that, it was nice and it fit like a glove, like it fit perfectly. Um, but it's completely, there's really no hiding anything. Um, but it, it was very, very beautiful. I like that. I have so many, but I didn't pull everything out because it would take me forever to. Another nice thing for photo shoots, um, especially lingerie style. These lace robes. You can play around with them so much. I'll show a couple photo shoots where you can play around with them and they look amazing. This one is gorgeous. Tall girls, hear me out. Hear me out. It is so long. Oh my god. I'm gonna use it as a beach cover. This is how cute this is. It drapes on the floor, ladies. I am a tallie. I I just looked on it. <laughs> I am a tallie and this drapes on the floor. I love it. I love it. Love it. So, I highly no, recommend it. I think I need more colors. I don't think it makes it justice the on the camera. The camera doesn't do it justice? No. no? Um, probably what I'm wearing doesn't do it justice. No, looks better in person. <laughs> um, so that's cute. Ooh, I just shot in this one. This one's fun, like these. This is fun for your man. Everything is... It was a tie. It's like easy to take off, like just a little pull and everything just falls right off. It was super gorgeous. It fit the body really nice. It's not itchy materials. Um, these that I'll link for you, they are itchy. They're itchy. You'll die in it. For a photo shoot, it's great. You can't, you can't wear it for very long. This is the bottom. Everything is tied. It's super sexy. Um, and yeah, it just comes right off with the pull of a string. That was a fun shoot. Um, do I have any more outfit tips? No. 
No, it's just a bunch of outfits. If I were to go through all my outfits, we'd be here for like hours. So we're gonna show you a little behind the scenes of how we do our photo shoots. All right, so here's the piece. It's new. Ah. See, I'm not afraid to goof around around my husband. Um, I love all the straps. Everything was adjustable, thankfully, because my thighs, my very proud, thick thighs that men are telling me I need to lose weight. No, I love them. Um, I had to completely loosen the straps so they don't like squeeze them too much. So that's why I like straps. Was there another strap missing? You know, that was confusing because I'm like, <laughs> but I have it all. <laughs> missing a strap. <laughs> no, yeah. so I think it's just a design. Okay. Maybe? Maybe. It's cute either way. All right, so first things first, when we get into a photo shoot, how do we get into the groove? Because obviously you can't just turn it right on. So we'll do your basic poses. Do some, you know, front shots. So we start like standing up and then yeah, standing we move. up and kind of just the like like we're showing off the outfit and that's it. So we'll do some of my front things and play around with it. Uh, the reason I like straps is because you can play with them. Because that's the biggest problem you had. What do I do with my hands? Yeah. <laughs> when I first started, I was very like, what do I do? What do I do with these? I just chop them off. <laughs> Where do I cut them? <laughs> cut them off. <laughs> so you play with your hair a little bit. You can touch your body gently, pull at things. A lot of candid shots could happen too. And angles. And angles down there <laughs> <laughs> trust your photographer he's trying to find the best angle to suit you um so yeah after we do this then i start to get into the groove naturally i feel i know what to do see like right now still haven't mastered the hands thing so i'm like <laughs> no hands but at first what helped was having poses ready for us now we don't do it but in the beginning in the beginning um find some stuff get inspired online find um poses that you like and try to do them however a big tip on that i'm gonna sit down a big tip on that because i have something to say is don't don't obsess over that pose use it as an inspiration to get moving and if you can't redo the pose don't be so hard on yourself i used to be like why can't i do this why can't i do this why does my body not move like this one we're all built differently two there have been so many poses i cannot remake of my own pose <laughs> <laughs> like a lot is it has to do with where he's standing how high how low he is what I'm background wearing. um so sometimes I, i've i've looked at my own photos for inspiration and i've tried to remake and i'm like it ain't working but out of trying i did a new pose a different pose something but that made me feel it, great it could have been just simple the added to that day too the could have been that too i mean i don't know but don't ever get stuck on this has to be it and if i can't master it i can't move forward a lot of times i'll be like is it working no if i see him trying to struggle and he's like i don't i don't feel like anything next, when i take this and next photo shoot we get it like nothing if he says i don't feel anything in this photo then i'll be like let's move on because i don't want to waste mm. time there's no point in wasting time try something new whatever not nah, every photo shoot is the same. Let's keep going. They're all different. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't know what you're going to get. And sometimes you get these amazing shots that you can't redo. Enjoy them. Move on. Get more. Strive to get more. Um, let's move on. I'll show you guys a couple more poses. So some tips here. <laughs> um, while I'm doing this pose, it makes me think of things. I try to move around a lot. And the reason why is you get the dreaded, we worked with so many people, and we get the dreaded, what is this? Am I doing it? No, tricep. Mm -hmm. it, it just sticks out so much. And a lot of times this happens because we're putting our weight on it. It makes sense. You're putting your weight on it. So you have to learn to take your weight off of this hand or rotate it so that you don't get that very large arm look. Like I don't have large arms, but that pose has done it to everyone. It doesn't matter who you are, how skinny you are. If you lay your your weight on your arm, you're gonna get that big bulgy. So you have to remember. And sometimes I forget, but because I move around a lot and I play with my hair, there's a huge chance that I'll get off of that arm and I won't have that 
big. Effect, so the trick is to know? get out of way from So it. just don't, you don't want to put your weight on it. Put your weight on your back arm if you can. It looks better on your tummy anyways than, you know, scrunching it. So put your weight on your, on the back of your, on the other hand, that is not visible to the camera. Another thing, find out which side of your face you like. I like this side. I don't like my other side. I don't know if everyone sees it, but I see it. And I've had people where they're like, this is my good side and this is my bad side, and I haven't seen it. But if you don't like your own photos, you're not going to feel that great. So find the face side that you like. I, I just call you one. psycho. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, during a photo shoot, move your head around a lot. Sometimes it'll look like it's like almost decapitated. That's fine. Just keep moving. Um, you'll find that a lot of poses are the poses photographer. you would have never thought you would like. For me, looking a little slightly up has always been very complimentary to my face. And I wouldn't have known this if I was afraid. Like, some people get like, I'm not going to move and you just keep taking the photos, okay? <laughs> you know? No, you want to move around. Relax your head. Do what I, I mean, I'm exaggerating here, but I like to move my head around. Go as down, a photographer go too. up, again down. Let them capture your side profile. You don't always have to look at the camera. Um... Just kind of keep it moving and let him take like 20, 30, 40, 40 photos and you will learn so much about your body, your face, and what you like. See, I do it. I try not to do it. I always put my weight on, on that arm. And another thing you can do when you are shooting, uh, one strap down can always be very sexy. So you can play with your strap while you're also tossing your hair around. You do the second one, move forward to the camera. So that's all about playing with the hair. Hair straps, they make a difference. It just kind of spices up the photo a little bit for you. Um, Anything else? No. Okay, so this is just a little behind the scenes of what we do. It gets a lot more fun. <laughs> Let's just say it gets a lot more fun from here. Uh, we're going to end it here. If you guys do like this type of photo shoot, uh, photo shoot video no. of a photo shoot, let me know. We'll do more. They are so many different options of how we photo shoot. So, like, I feel like there's so much to cover. Right? Yeah. So many different tips I can give you guys. So if you are into it, let me know, ladies, men. Comment below. Comment below. So we will end it here. Until next time. Bye, y'all. Oh, Make sure don't, to subscribe. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and be notified. Bye, y'all. And like the video. <laughs> and like the video. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Hashtag love it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Okay, I'm just kidding. Until next time. Bye.